hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we are implementing this products page and here now time is to work on the i view and edit and delete stuff so let's get started so here simply become a new let me go to the web dot file so here we are using the one admin slash products right on the let's we store the product on the uh, product page i don't want to use this so uh, uh, same thing again and again right so for this i will choose the resource uh, resource route and resource controller right so simply cut this out and then implement here resource then this will be the products right and then the controller will be the product controller plus here and by the way we can also apply the prefix of admin so here we are using this so admin dot here we can also call this admin dot dashboard right so then it will be from same dot dashboard and uh, this one is also using admin slash and this these are using also admin right so we can group them into the one right so for example here i'm going to cut this out create a new group right so first let me explain that why what i want to so here this one is repeating this admin into all of the one right so i want to add this at the top don't want to use this every uh, with the every route here i will also use using the name as same so i want to add this immediately at the top so let's go here now to prefix is used to add the slash admin like this or you can add this without the slash and then as method is used for name right so here name is admin and make sure to add the dot here so it will concat the uh, other uh, other part of the uh, other part of this uh, route right okay paste this out here and here now we don't need to add this admin slash here and then we also don't need to uh, here this one is possible due to this prefix right and then this admin dot is equal to this one so we don't need to add this like this right okay so now your question is that this one is uh, why we i added this inside this uh, prefix because before this we implemented this admin slash product and admin dot products like this right so that's why i added this here inside this so this will be also uh, using this prefix and these things so here for the controller okay let me copy this functionality and make this uh, old controller and create a new controller here it be artisan make controller and then inside the admin with the product controller and then this would be the uh, resource controller right and yes it's created and here uh, i'm going to copy my all of the logic here so simply cut this thing paste this in the index one okay and then create stuff will be this right and then store would be like uh, this create request create to request admin slash products okay and then add the db plus at the top product to model at the top Okay, and then these are two private methods so simply cut them out from there and add them at the end of this right, right like this 
and here we need to delete this now we need to delete this out okay we have this one for the have this at the top okay and uh, i think will work same if anything if something will went wrong we will fix the issue okay it's working all right so products it is working if i go here and now i want to visit the slash create it and yes it's also working fine right okay so now i want to now when i will click on this uh, show button i want to display this into the new page right so let's close the other model from here so here we have a route of, of the products dot show products dot show right admin dot products dot show and then this would be the edit to edit admin dot products dot edit and then this would be the test try stuff right route to just try product dot test try right okay and uh, it should also um, uh, parameter uh, product id right and these also accept the product id product or then product id right so now let's give it a refresh and yes so i click on this view so we are displaying an empty page why because uh, here we need to create this view right and then we need to return this view from here so let's go here and create this view show.play.php then edit.play.php Mm, all right so simply copy this create stuff add this into the edit stuff later on i will change this so also place this in the show so remove this forum here so here i will display the show product and display the table in the different scenario class of table and then here i will use the uh, t body and here i'm going to display the first uh, table dot uh, uh, table head right i want to use this table head inside the table body to display our table header and table body with the from the so here I'm going to first use a T row table head and uh, table data. So the words the you know the place will be the product name. Simply you can say the name and here I want to display the product name, right? So first to return this product from here. Okay, this one is accepting an ID. So you can also use this so here. The uh, what we can say this this would be the route implicit route model. Fine, you simply add this user object and call this user. If it are uh, not the user, it will be the product, right? So it will uh, call this product. Uh, it will fetch this product to. Uh, inside the product table and then return this product if it's not found it will return the 404 not found message right okay so here um, i want to return a view of products dot to show right and uh, with the compact of product which we are getting about uh, this one right so let's go here and check that we have a product if we have single object of product so we have product display this product otherwise display that uh, uh, h4 
class of text to danger text center text to bold product to not found right and if the, it's found this page is stable right let me enter it so it's fine and then name and then here we need to display the product name right so let's give it a refresh here and yes we are getting the product name uh, simply copy the same here or the other things mm, I'm not going to add the description here I will add this at the end of this table here I will add the mm, quantity right this will be the quantity points okay points and uh, then what else is product stable let's get it out okay and then created ad you can display its time created ad created ad here also you can convert uh, with a different to and display here uh, with the uh, mm, with a different to uh, what's the name with the different to format right so i want to display this first day first day name then day then month then i want to display the year then str to time and pass this to this object right and after this i want to display the description and image outside of this table so here to display the um, five description okay and then this will be the inside of the paragraph and then again paragraph and here about full description description and then we need the product image right so the copy the above line image and then here the image of product simply call the image without the product name right without the product path not the name that is the beauty of this mutator refresh yes description and this image and this should be inside this so uh, fit inside this uh, card so let me restrict it some of the size Mm, it would be the around uh, 500 dx maybe still it's uh, 300 maybe no it's not affecting it here so let me add the important keyword with this one refresh and still it's going all right oh i forgot the width here refresh and yes let's make this 700 or 900 maybe uh, 850 20 30 okay and 40 yes 40 is fine but uh, here we need to add this uh, 
Uh, actually, I need to add the image fluid class to make this responsive. Uh, this is a larger image, so I think I need to add this. So, I don't need to add this. No, I hard coded a value. I need to add this inside a div and uh, here I need to mm, call what I want to how to make a image I think that's a uh, image fluid class yes image fluid can call this class but uh, you know this will uh, restrict its size or it not so refresh it yes it's worked like a charm let's get it let's remove this one remove this one remove this one remove this one this one and it looks nice right with the tail description and there is a back button it will redirect us on the back page so after this so for this card here we need a button which is um, go back we can also display uh, here we can also display the icon of go back but I uh, personally like this go back text go back add some margin bottom okay refresh and yes let's click on this go back it's doing nothing because we didn't edit something here so add a href of route to products so products admin dot products dot index right refresh it go back and yes redirect it back and now let's work on this so edit and delete so 